viewers to the second episode in this series where we are looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 2. So in the first episode we covered question 1. So let us move straight to question 2. Question 2a solve the equation 3x square minus 5x minus 7 equals 0 giving your answers collect to two decimal places. Once the question is asking you to give the answer to uh, two decimal places, know that uh, you will not be able to find the factors. Okay? Because remember we have a general uh, quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So the goal is for you to find the, uh, the factors that you substitute for b. So in this case, you can't find those uh, two factors. So what you do is we go with uh, the general formula, which is x is equal to uh, minus b plus or minus, then the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So you notice that it's just a matter of identifying which one is A, which one is B, and which one is C. So from there, we know that A is equal to basically 3, then B is equal to negative 5, then C is equal to negative 7, based on that equation. Then it's just a matter of substituting to find X. So X is equal to, what is B? B is negative 5. So negative times negative is a plus. So we end up with 5 then plus or minus, then we have b square which is a negative 5, we square it, then minus 4 times a, what is a? a is 3, what is c? is a negative 7, then over 2 times a, like that. Then next is just to expand, so we have 5 plus or minus, then 5 times 5, which is a, the 5 square that we have here in brackets, which is this negative 5, we square it, end up with 25. Then we have 4 times 3, which is 12, then times negative 7. So once we multiply that, we are going to end up with negative 84 times the negative, which is 0, which is minus, you end up with a plus. So we end up with positive 84 then over uh, 3 times 2, which is 6, simplify it, so we have a 6 there. Then next is, we have 5 plus or minus, then 25 plus 84, we end up with 109 over 6. Then what we have now is x is equal to 5 plus, what is the square root of 109 is 10.44. We use our calculator 440360065. Then over 6, then all. Then again, we are going to have 5 minus now at 10.44, then 03 all the way up to 65 over 6, like that. Then once we, we do that, we are going to end up with the first part to be 15.440365065 over 6. Once we simplify this one, you are going to end up with um, 2.57 to two decimal places. Then uh, similarly on the other side, we are going to have this, this is over 6, we simplify that, you are going to end up with minus 5.440365 over 6, you end up with minus 0 0.91 to 2 decimal places. So this is x1 or basically x is equal to that. So these are the two values of x. Let us look at question 2b. In the parallelogram OABC, OA is equal to 4 vector A, OC equals 6 vector C, then AP is equal to 2 thirds of AC. 
Now remember OA is a vector, OC is a vector, AP is a vector, and AC they are all vectors. And M is the midpoint of BC. So before we even start looking at uh, the questions, we know that this is a parallelogram. So if this is a parallelogram, then what this tells me is we have this is 6 vector C, then this is vector A, that like that. So this direction, that's the property of a parallelogram. Then if you look at our question E, Loma numeral 1, find in terms of vector A and or vector C, vector A, C. So this is Loma numeral 1, we are looking for vector A, C. So how can we get to C from A? So the alternative is to move to O, which is A O, then get to C by moving from O to C. So what we have, we have A O, this vector, then plus vector O C, like that. So what is A O? is the inverse of O A, which is negative, the opposite direction, then plus O C. Then we have minus basically 4 vector M, then plus 6 vector C. So this is the A C. Then B, this is A, so for B O P, so how can we get to O P? So for us to get to P from O is this direction, we can move to C, then to P. Or alternatively, we can go to A, then move to P. So because we know what a P is from this this route is much more better. So we are going to say O A plus A P. That's the election. So we know what O A is. So O A is the way it is. Then plus A P, which is two third of vector A C. So O A for vector A, then plus two third of a C, which is we have minus 4 a then plus 6 c vector c like that so just expand we have all a then plus 8 over 3 vector a now because it's a negative so this whole thing here becomes a negative because there is a negative here so minus then plus a 2 times a 6 12 divided by 3 we have 4 vector C. Then simplifying this, we end up with 12 minus 8 is a 4. So we end up with 4 over 3 vector A plus 4 vector C as our answer. Then we move to OM, which is C. So we are looking at C, Loma numeral 1. So C is OM for us to, to move from O to M. So OM is this here. So how can we get there? So you see, we can use at this root, then come here. Or alternatively, we can move here, here, then come here. But that one is longer. Then if M is a midpoint, then what it means is if and this is four vector M, then this should be two vector A, then this should be two vector A. So that when you add these two, you end up with that. So we know what this one is, then we know what this one is. So the shortest is to OC, let me use a different color so that I don't confuse the two, then plus in a C M, like in that. Then we know what OM is, so OC is basically six vector C, then plus in C M is two vector A, that direction. Then this is the OM. Then, when you go to Loma numeral 2, ends or otherwise show that the points O, P, and M are collinear. So, two points are said to be collinear if they lie on the same straight line, meaning they have the same direction or opposite direction but in the same line. So, Drawing from that, two vectors are said to be collinear if they lie along the same line or parallel to each other, or they have the same or different magnitude and the uh, same or opposite direction. So just to demonstrate, 
if I have this vector, which I'll call B, vector B, then I have this vector, which is 2B. These two vectors in are collinear. They are moving in the same direction but different magnitude. Then if you have this vector, which is moving in the opposite direction, so this is minus 2B. This is also collinear but in the opposite direction. So that's the principle that we use. So now, if you see, what we just need to demonstrate is these, they lie on the same line. And uh, OP is a function of OM. So OP ends here, then OM goes all the way at the, at the end. So what I know is the fact that if I were to find OP in terms of OM. So OM is in this one. Then OP is in that one. So if I did, I multiply this. Okay? Multiply by that. So what I do is I multiply this OM by say 2 over 3. So what I'm going to get is OM I multiply by that. I'm going to have 3 into 6 a 2 times 2 which is a 4. So I'm going to have this 4 C. Then 2 over 3 multiplied by that I'm going to have that. So what you notice in this case OP is nothing but 2 third of O M. That's ideally what you need to demonstrate. So if I go to the next page and I do this OP is equal to 2 third of O M. So 2 third then what is O M? So O M is that one which is 2 M. So 2 vector M plus 6 vector C. Then uh, simplifying that I'm going to have 2 times 2 is a 4. So 4 over 3 vector M then plus 2 third multiplied by uh, 6 I'm going to have 4 vector C. So what you notice in this case is I can express OP as a function of OM. And OP and M are collinear points. So this is what you need to show. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this uh, video to be very helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Once you go to our channel, we'll discover that we've got so much content for you. You'll notice that we've got a mathematics, a physics, and chemistry. We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.